hello guys uh good morning and welcome to another brown new video on the light bag collection as usual this is uh, another video that will be coming up this monday so guys uh what we'll be making today is bu uh, bucket and cara bag so i have my material here all the accessories and the material i'll be using to make the bag so without no further ado let's proceed please uh guys make sure to subscribe to this channel <coughs> leave a comment uh like and share this video with your friends so um this is the illustration of the bag we'll be making as you can see this is a bucket and cara bag this is how the structure is going to look like after we are making it and this is the main uh template so I have my D-ring, two D-ring here. I decided not to use a strap. I'll be using a chain. So this is red made chain with uh, the hook at the hand here. So I have my two small D-ring. I have my Ankara fabrics. I have the material that will be that I will use for the whole body, and I have my rope for the top for the mouth to close. So I will show you everything as. I proceed and these are the rest of the uh, tools I will be needing for it so without no further ado let's start cutting and making the Ankara bag so we we'll see you when we finish so here we have it guys I finished cutting everything so let me uh, take this minute to explain everything for you from the uh, illustration and the pattern so here we have it here as you can see this is the structure how the bag is going to look like then we have down here the main template which is the same thing as the one you saw down here so about this from this particular side to this particular side is 9 inch while in between here is 5 inch then from here back to this place again is a uh, 9 inch here we are using imperial not matrix this is 9 inch so if we say the full length of this place or let's say from this particular place to the center will be 11 and a half because this is two and a half inch plus nine which is 11 and a half inch and this side here is 12 inch then the small place you cut here is two and a half inch so for the party this one i'm making now on the table i reduce it is not the same size as the one i show you from the book as you can see here this side I have seven and a half here as you can see this is seven and a half then this place is two and a half this is two I mean not two and a half this is two then if you check if you look at it here is also two inch I measure two inch this place is two inch this place is two inch why the center you don't even need to measure the center once you measure your two inch here you measure your two inch and you cut it out so and if I open it this is how it's going to look like as you can see just as as you see from the uh, design or illustration so this is everything and I fold it so uh talking about the fabrics I will be using for it as you can see you will see that the fabric is much uh, wider than the main material I decide to do this this way because this is the main uh, synthetic leather and that is fabrics I want it to be durable I want the same allowance that's why I increase the same allowance and up this side again you had because the bucket the top where you put the rope it's after you finish sewing it when you tie the rope or you draw it it will look something like this so that's the reason why i added five inch to this place so you had five inch so that you can fold and put your rope inside so if you want to measure your rope to know to determine how you cut your rope you measure from the hand side to this end side which is 11 as you can see this is 11 then you add three inch to it which is going to be 14 which is going to be 14 inch as you can see so if you do 14 this 14 it will be times 2 which is now 28 so your rope will be 28 because the mouth you are going to fold the mouth and tie it and we have our rope here i've not cut that but i'm going to do that right away now so uh, i hope you guys understand everything i've explained here for you the measurement i show on the book is a little bit different to the one i make down here because 
uh, this particular measurement this is this is 11 by nine and a half and this side is seven and a half why here is two here is two here is two and here is two so uh let's proceed to and again there's something i need to talk about before i proceed the d-ring i'll be using the small d-ring i'll be using i need to cut a little strap for it to attach it down so i will cut a little strap that will go in between here so that i can attach it to the uh, edge of it to hang my chain so that's that for this video so let's proceed to sewing and assembling everything and we'll see you when we get there thank you for watching make sure to subscribe live leave a comment on what you think on this video so here we have it i will start by keeping this i want to uh, uh, attach these two together so first so that's the first thing i will do before i start with the material down to this side then you do the other side as well you won't join this place this place will still be open i will show you what to do here uh, once i am done with this particular one I'm making. So um, after you finish uh, assembling everything, you fold this place. The five inch we add to it. This is what we done with it. We fold it. So you fold it inward like this. We are going to sew this outside. This is how everything is going to look like. As you can see, this is the inside. But on this particular one, we didn't put our uh, inner pocket. But I'll be doing a bigger one uh, soon. So we'll do inner pocket and outside pocket for that. So what we'll do now is to attach the Ankara fabrics to the leather now with the D-ring. It will be at each side this way. So without no further ado, let's proceed to that. Make sure to uh, subscribe to this channel. As you watch this video, please, you are helping us out to make a new video as you subscribe. Make sure to share with your friend, like, leave a comment on what you think or any bag you want us to make. There are a ton of projects we'll be making on this channel apart from bag, a lot of it. So let's proceed to what we are making.
So this is the final product of the bag as you can see. I hope you guys are enjoying this particular video on the light bag collection. So this is what we've made so far. I will have to burn this particular place and tie it up. So but let me tie it up now. Then I will burn it later the way we normally do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video of uh, buckets and carab bag. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you think there's anything I didn't add to this bag or maybe there's a simpler way I can do it other than the way I do it. I do this particular one and make sure to subscribe to this channel, like, leave a comment on what you think. This is it. The next one we'll be doing, I will use strap and it will be much bigger than this one. But I hope you guys enjoy this and like this particular bag so this is it uh, uh there's something i need to say uh someone asked me that why is it that i use domestic uh, domestic machine to make most of my bag i decide to use that to show you guys that there's nothing you can use domestic machine for as long as you put your mind to it and you have the concepts and the techniques to use it when you are starting up if you don't have the fund yet you don't have to get the specialized machine if you have a domestic machine you can use that as well it's just a little bit of twist and setting you do to it for it to sew any leather or material you want so i think i've uh, attended to that particular question that i i was asked so uh this is it for this particular video guys uh we'll see you in the next one in a few days to come make sure to subscribe and peace out